So Adriano, good to see you. Ah, nice to see you. How are you? Hey, I'm very well, and I'm excited to see the latest offerings from the Dolomiti range, because you have the uh, Crodonera and the Crodoroso uh, to show us today, which have a little bit in common with each other in terms of they're both at the lighter end of the spectrum, but are also very different in terms of what they're actually designed to do. Yeah, indeed. So uh, Crodonera, this is a light hiking boot, and Croda, Crodoroso is definitely a more technical boot for approach or scrambling. Uh, but as you said, both of them are very lightweight. So here and, we are around 500 grams for one boot and here is less than 600. So should, you can we start off, should we start off with the Crodonera? Cause that, that's no. a really interesting shoe because I've, I've read up a little bit on it <laughs> and it's obviously got the, almost some of the DNA from the trail running side of things. You can see that sole unit there. Yeah. Um, but it's also got that Dolomiti twist in that it is still a boot. It surprises you with a bit more support. The story is that uh, this is representing a new generation of hiking boots. Uh, more and more people want to go hiking. Uh, we know this and uh, more and more people are approaching these new sports and time outdoor. And some of them, uh, probably also the youngest one, they are looking for hybrid shoes, which reminds a running shoe or a trail running shoe. And they especially look for uh, synthetic uh, material on the upper to, to get a, a soft upper, a uh, very nice feeling around the feet. But still, uh, they need, in our opinion, uh, a little bit of technical tool to go hiking. So this is our, uh, let's say, offer to this uh, target of people. Because it's still got all of the high quality componentry you'd expect from a Dolomiti, you know, hiking boot, hasn't it? It's got the Vibram sole and... Yeah, uh, so um, let's say the upper, it's, it's really in this uh, new uh, direction of uh, softer material, light materials, synthetic materials. But the boot is uh, made according our, let's say, traditional technique is so-called elastic boot. So it's mounted on a last. And the benefit of such a technique is that you get a, a higher uh, stability, support, uh, anti-torsion, but also a very good hold on the ankles. So support around your ankles. And this is key if you go hiking on uneven terrains or, or wet places you know you must be <laughs> and we're we're very familiar with wet places over here right now <laughs> i trust you so but um the boot is also um, has also other nice features uh, i think that the, the best one is probably the wrapping system uh this is new uh so it is it is this kind of stretch material on the tongue um this is then so easy to, to, to put your uh, foot into the boot. And also it's um, wrap around the foot very nicely uh, without any pressure points, uh, but still it is uh, kind of adapting to any kind of instep. So we know people have higher instep or lower, a bigger foot or smaller foot. And this is really uh, fitting nicely to any kind of foot. Uh, it's a very nice system, actually. I think as well, that'll feel, you know, very familiar to people perhaps who are used to wearing trainers and not the hiking boots that you're mentioning as well. So it's that natural fit for people who maybe, as you say, are just mm. starting out, but haven't actually worn maybe a more traditional boot. You know, when I started, I guess, walking, when I started climbing, you know, people were still buying a lot of, you know, you know, almost entirely leather you know really hard really sturdy uh boots but now that ain't the case is it the new and sort of emerging audience wants something lighter and more immediately comfortable yeah definitely and that's the reason why also we we started to design a more uh let's say updated outsole so still with a very good uh, cushioning eva dual density but the bottom sole is definitely more sporty and athletic. So we have this uh, uh, nice lux, pretty wide. Um, it reminds a little bit like a trail running shoe, uh, but still they are uh, uh, very good in terms of traction, uh, 
the compound is a mega grip from Vibram, so one of the best compounds. Um, the the tread is self cleaning. Um, also in the front, you get you get a very nice grip, even if you're walking on on grass. Sometimes we know you go from a trail to grass and then it's wet and and you slip. And this part here, I hope you can see it. Yeah, it helps yeah. very much on wet grass as well. Wet grass again is one of the favorite British mediums of walking. Um, you know when you hit it, it's it's such as the nature of the climate that we live in. So this is the Crodonera GTX. It has a, a Gore-Tex liner, of course, um, on the high cut. Uh, we also have a low cut version, but this one is without the Gore-Tex liner. So it's definitely more a kind of walking shoe or light hiking shoe for the summertime. I think the thing is with the Gore-Tex liner, it fits really naturally within the boot. Within lower cut shoes, your problem often is that because you haven't got that much depth to them, it's easier for the water to get into them anyway. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true as well. But then, you know, it's about choices. Uh, we know there's a number of consumers who, who like uh, shoes without Gore-Tex, and uh, there's a number of consumers who are simply looking for a membrane, and we must give both of them a possibility to buy Dolomite. And so the Croda, well, we've run through the Croda Nera, the Croda Rossa, um, is that look, it's like a more technical cousin, isn't it? It is, it is actually. So it is definitely a more robust boot, um, still a lightweight, as I said, less than 600 grams. The, the upper is a mix of leather, sweat leather, and this uh, technical material on the wrapping system. Um, we went for um, dual density VA and the very good uh, sole I have to say from Vibram, this is the Vibram Winkler is the name, uh, with uh, very good locks and, and brakes here. I have to say that uh, it looks uh, simple uh, in the design, but it's very effective. And, and this is what we were looking for. <laughs> there's no point in making it too cluttered or overly complex when simplicity is often the best solution. Yeah. So when when you fit the shoe, the wrapping system is so easy uh, immediately. I mean, it's so easy to fit the boot. You just have to pull here uh, the laces, and then it's uh, everything here around the ankles is elastic. So you fit it easily. Um, you feel uh, um, pretty a pretty nice pace on the two cap. So even for people having a larger foot, this is uh, comfortable enough, I have to say. Um, and uh, still you feel uh, uh, not just comfort, but also protection. Uh, and that's exactly what, you, you know, on the rocky sort of technical terrain, I always say when I'm reviewing these things, I think when I reviewed the Velocissima last year, having the rubber around that toe cap means that when you are sort of, you know, putting, cramming your foot into cracks, it means that the boot or the shoe doesn't collapse around your foot and squash you. It, it's there supporting you. Yeah, yeah. And here on this Croda Rosa, there, there's really a great support. The shoe is, uh, the boot is very stable. Uh, you really feel also good a good traction. I think that, uh, again, the Mega Grip compound and this, this Winkler sole from Vibram is excellent. So you really feel safe, even if uh, running down downhill, you know, on, on a rocky trail, or uh, even, in, even if you're jumping from a rock to another, when you, you go scrambling, you really feel uh, safe and uh, you feel the stability of the boots. Uh, it's a very nice feeling, let's say, going, going out or going hiking with this uh, Croda Rosa. The brake on the sole unit is something, again, that I know that Dan Bailey, who's our gear editor on site, will absolutely love. Because going back to those grassy slopes, the flat soles don't tend to work as well on that environment yeah. than something with a very distinct edge and brake uh, where you can really just stomp your foot in and um, let all of that wet mud, grass, whatever else there is, um, it really helps to gain that little bit of extra traction. Yeah, and here you see the break is really very nice. So it's we have also a heel support here, and in general the the heel 
support on uh, on this area is very nice. Again, a nice a nice feeling, uh, a very comfortable, high comfortable boot. And when can we expect to see both of these in shops as well? So beginning of next year, they will be on the shelf, uh, probably around uh, February or 1st of March. I'm aware it's a very difficult thing to offer timings at the moment because of how difficult it is to get uh, everything to and from different countries yeah, at the moment. You're but. right, actually. We have some uh, headaches uh, at the moment with deliveries, but uh, that's life. <laughs> hey, well, if we can get a pair to review in the meanwhile, I know that Dan, who's based up in Scotland, would absolutely love to try, in particular, the Croda Rossa, because it looks, to be honest as well, it looks like a shoe that a lot of British hikers, climbers, mountaineers would love to try. There's, a, there's actually a lot that you can do uh, with this kind of boot. So it's, uh, again, a uh, uh, very nice compromise uh, in terms of weight, features, and uh, yeah, possibilities to enjoy you know, the mountains. And the Crodonera, again, it, it's still just as good. It's just good in a really different way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as we said, this is more for uh, people who are not looking for um, high demanding routes. It's more for simple walking, enjoying the outdoor, even outside the cities in the parks, but also in the mountains, of course. Uh, we say light hiking activities. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, Adriano. Uh, really good to catch Thank up. You, Rob. Can't wait to see these on the feet of some of the UKC and UKH test teams soon. Wow, yeah, we also <laughs> would like to see this very soon. Thank you.